Hello, now I want to show you how works our new uh, TD meter program for Windows. Okay, I started. Good. This is a standard interface. Let's see what we have here. Here is a needle, dial, and uh, indicators. Time, K, counter, and timer. After installation of program, I recommend to go to hardware settings and choose exact device you want to use. Here I use 30 meter third generation. I choose it and press button OK. Good start program and <clears throat> now it works directly with this device. We have two set buttons to set needle at set. Also, you can use uh, spacebar to set needle at set and click somewhere on the dial to set needle at set. Good. Let's go to the settings. Here we have different type of interface. For beginner, it looks so. Only sensitivity adjustment, dial settings. Graph settings and set button. In professional mode, we have much more settings. Let's see what we have. Sensitivity booster, sensitivity adjustment, start stop station, reset counter, disable counter, delete, last counting. This is 2010 timer for uh, those who use uh, confessional in uh, 2010 style. 20 minutes of confessional and 10 minutes of uh, heaviness. Good. Changing of delta, that graph. Here is a word part. Here you can uh, write exactly CS for your session, or you can open here L1C or any other list as you want. Settings. Okay, here is file. To exit program, choose this option. View editor. Sidebar. TA. Sensitivity settings, train, set, and after set. If you want to set train, let's see how it looks. Good. Here is this uh, 5 kilo ohms resistor connected to my 30 meter, and I set train, and instead become 2.0. Good. I connect cans. Okay. Uh, this sidebar is uh, possible to use during uh, emitter drills and for such things. Graph window. You can see needle graph, TA graph, and sound graph. Sound graph is very comfortable to see exact. Uh, a reaction, instant reads at any phrase uh, you uh, say to your preclear or your preclear say, uh, say to you. Okay, this is a player recording of session and status bar. To see uh, different settings, thirty meter exact device power of um, the power of uh, accumulator, instant T T uh, inertia is it off or on, high T sensitivity correction, body motion detector and sound indicators. Okay. Now we have uh, time, T, timer, 
of session, date, instant TA, and counter. If you want, uh, if you do not want to have uh, some of these parts of interface, you go to the settings, and for example, you don't want to see timer 2010 and instant TA. And instant TA count, uh, instant TA disappear, and there is also no, there is no also uh, 2010 timer. Good. To start session, you press button start. Timer start to count, and also TA counter start to count. When you stop session you have session summary. TA counter, minimum and maximum TA per session, session time, and so on. This is very comfortable. If you made an error and uh, you press, you need to press button cancel and session continue, and uh, timer and counter continue to work. You can reset counter now it's 0, 0.0 disable counter you see there is no additional counts and enable also you can delete last counting it was 0 0.55 and now 0 0.35 it deletes, this button deletes last, last counting, if you think it was body motion. Ok, let's go to the next settings. Sensitivity settings. This is sensitivity adjustment. If you want to make bigger or higher, you just make it higher. If you uh, think your uh, the sensitivity should be smaller, you make it smaller. Now it works like Mark V. If you want um, to use uh, correction sensitivity at high TA, to make it higher, the more high is TA, the more high is sensitivity, you activate this option and uh, adjust it as you want. The higher is uh, digit here, the more uh, the higher is correction. Good. TA settings. This is TA counter and needle movement counter. Uh, TA accuracy is uh, shows how accurate will be indication with accuracy 0.05 or 0.01. This is like at quantum, this is like at Mark V. Let's see how works needle movement counter. You see, um, <coughs> you can see at TA counter, it works so. When needle flow, uh, fall, it counts additional counts, additional T. This is very comfortable to um, evaluate, for example, uh, different items, charge at different items. Now I will think about, I will reset counter and think about apples. There is no charge, real big charge at this item. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there is something. Okay, good. Now I want to think about pineapple. I reset counter, and uh, now I will give, give, I will get charge at this item. Okay, this is my charge. Good. I reset it and now I will think about melon.
Okay, good. You can evaluate uh, different items in such way. Okay. This option shows uh, would you like to have a start session at program start. Okay, let's see how it works. I stop session. Okay. Uh, when I start session, there is no uh, counter working. Counter doesn't work and uh, timer also. Here counter and here is timer. And uh, if I want to start session and uh, start timer and counter, then I restart program and timer and counter start to work. For somebody, this could be comfortable. Okay. Body motion detector. Now I enable it and show you how it works. Here there is option show motion detector indicator. This is motion det detector indicator and now it's green. This means uh, there is no body motion. Now I squeeze can quickly and body motion detector think there is a body motion. And it stop TA counting. You see, there is no TA counting. Also, I can put my uh, solar can and take it and there is no TA counting. Preclearer can shorten his cans and also this could call this could cause additional TA counting. But here, if you have body motion detector, you do not have it. So it's very comfortable to have such option. I'll disable it. Here you can uh, set up different uh, sensitivity of detector, and here is the time at which TA counter start stop to count. TA counting. Uh, if a detector think it's T, there is a body motion, it stopped TA counter for 3.2 seconds. You can make it bigger or smaller as you want. Okay. Needle. There is a uh, needle inertia. Needle inertia is um, needle mass. The more massive is needle, the less quick is needle. Let's see how it works. I'll enable it and switch it small. Needle moves very quickly. You see it? And now I will make high inertia. I squeeze can and needle reaction is not so quick. You see? It's really very inertial. So it is not good. I make it now about one. It's optimal. Natural needle movement. Let's see how it works. I activate this option and make oscillation about two. Good. You see, needle works like at Mark 5 or Mark 7. We have additional oscillations after needle stop. If you want to show difference between computer meters and uh, real Mark V and Mark VII, you can use this option. It's really advised. Okay. After set, this is. Uh, setting needle at set, uh, when needle comes to the end of the dial, here on here, okay, you see it, okay, now uh, 
this uh, I can switch it off and now there is no auto set now uh, dial here is a different colors needle color is we can say it black uh, dial we can make it green text red okay let's do you like it? no I don't like it I make it black and black Oops. Graph. First of all, let's see what is the difference between oscillograph and registrator. Activate a graph window. You see, it works now in uh, oscillograph mode. Here we see uh, a cursor which moves from the left to the right. In registrator mode, it works. Uh, cursor is always here. You can see a TA graph, green, uh, needle graph, white, and sound graph, blue. If you don't want to see, for example, sound graph, you switch it off, and there is no sound graph. Also, you can uh, choose 10 seconds of display and it will move more quickly. You see? Good. Also you can uh, use different bars. Activate here bar 2 and here I will put sound. Disactivate TA. Okay. You see? We have uh, TA graph and a needle graph here and here is sound graph. I'll disactivate it. Okay. This is more simple. Good. Line piece. You can make it more white or less white as you want good uh, now go to sound if you want to have sound indication of needle movements you can choose this now meter sound uh, shows us the pulse. When needle start to fall, I will switch inertia. Every time when needle falls, we have a signal, sound signal. For somebody it could be comfortable. So this is all about this program. If you have any question, please write to me. Thank you for viewing this video.